I was really excited when Lieutenant Colonel David Myers approached me about his idea to have some journalists come along on an ROTC adventure, especially because I'm a Lieutenant Colonel in the 171st Air Refueling Wing of the Pennsylvania Air National Guard, and I'm a journalism professor. So to have both of those ties and to be able to get my students involved in something so exciting, I was just beside myself. I have military experience myself. Uh, I was with the I was in the Navy for five years, and for three of that, I spent with the First Battalion, Fifth Marines. We went to Afghanistan in 2009, so I was kind of excited to get back into a military setting. But we had a great time. Uh, got to do a bunch of things, uh, some things I'd never done before. Got to rappel down. Uh, I don't even know how tall that wall was. Uh, 100 feet, maybe more, 300 feet, I'm not even sure, but uh, rappelled down a wall for the first time ever. Uh, that was that was new and exciting. Uh, I got to walk around, listen to people uh, sing cadence, and uh, it was very inspiring, and it was just, uh, it, it, it kind of took, took me back a little bit, um, but I was also glad to be able to uh, see it from the outside for once. I really enjoy working in the IEP journalism department because I always have the full support of my chairman when I have these outrageous ideas that I want to do with my students. And this was definitely one of the more outrageous things. I was excited because I usually tell war stories in class about my experiences in Afghanistan, but to have my students immersed and embedded with ROTC and just to listen to their stories about their perceptions of what they were before they participated versus after, they really did grow from this experience and I was so proud of them. But it, it is a uh, very interesting opportunity to be able to get as far off of the classroom as we did as far as going all the way to West Virginia to be able to live and work with a group of people that we in the classroom have no association with you know, you know what what do we know about military just being in the journalism classroom studying grammar and how to write so I, I think it was a, a great great chance for us to, to get out of that classroom get out of our comfort zones and you know, face a little bit of hardship. Well, the students took more than 4,000 photographs. They took hours of video footage. They took some audio. They obviously took notes. So they can spin out a lot of stories and things that we can use in our local media. But more importantly, convergence is such a big deal now that we can push a lot of this out on our social media sites and show the world that IEP is on top of this and that the IEP journalism department prepares students for 21st century journalism.